three quarter pounds and 28 kilos the spread amongst the 10 contenders here including the man who took the world championship title last year Liu Zhangjun of China who has posted a total of 376 kilos this is uh, Kianush uh, Rostami of uh, Iran, junior world champion this season. And uh, Tarek Yehia, 23 years old, representing Egypt, sixth in the world last year in Goyang in Korea. Georg uh, Davitan of Armenia, 27 years of age, bronze medal at the Beijing Olympics a couple of years ago. Pan Kum Choi is just 18, represents the People's Republic of Korea, and at this level has no serious uh, record, so interesting to see how he gets on in this final. Su Dajin is the uh, bronze medalist from last year's World Championships in Korea, representing China, of course. And Erkan uh, Karimai of Albania, the European number four this season in Minsk, just 22 years of age. Tigran uh, Marty Rossin, a really live challenger for Europe 22 from Armenia, the European champion of 2010. For the host nation, it's Semi Yaki, the 21 year old Turk, fourth in last season's under 23 European championships in Varislavovo in Poland. And this is the world champion from China who completes the field 26 years of age so China two-handed in this competition oh I did forget Christoph uh, Schramiak I shouldn't do that because he was the silver medalist in the European Championships so Ramsey uh, Balul was the man who made the headlines earlier in the day in the B group from Tunisia and this was his best effort in the first half of the competition in the B group, 160 kilos. And then added to that 192 kilos in the clean and jerk to give himself a total of 352, which is the leading score coming into tonight's medal A final. But whether 352 will be good enough to give him a medal, well, that we just have to wait and see. So that was the 160 and now the clean and jerk at 192. He weighed in at 76.51. Uh, uh, and just looking at some of the entry totals to put this effort into context. 365, there are a couple of men on 355. So at 352 he's pretty close to them. So he may well squeeze up into a higher ranking position which may earn Tunisia some team points towards qualifying for places for London 2012. Clean of course the two part lift. This the clean onto the shoulders, drives up here. Deep split, but controls it well, and that was his third attempt, and with the 192, as I said, 352, so he is the current leader. So there are the world records that you can see on the screen. 174, 210, and 378 for the snatch, the clean and jerk, and the total. So 378, and we've got one or two competitors. Su Dajin of China, 375. Marty Rossian, 375. So settle back and enjoy this uh, with us. Quite a competitive competition, as I said, just 28 kilos the spread between the lowest entry total, which is 347 from the 21-year-old Turk, and 375 from the likes of uh, Dabitan of Armenia, uh, Sudajin of China, Marty Rossian of Armenia, and Lu Jashun of China, the defending champion. So we get underway here with uh, Tarek Yehia to open up on 150 kilos. So the 
Best score in the snatch earlier on from Ramzi Balul, 160, so we're 10 kilos short of that, but early days. Well, a strong start there by Tarek. And 156 in Goyang tends to be a little stronger in the second half of the competition. Cleaning jerk 197 last year in Korea. Moved up after 2008 to the 77 kilo class. He was African silver medalist in 2008 in the African Championships. And just looking at some of the opening weights here, the Iranian uh, Hanush uh, Rostami on 161, 160 for Su Dajin, 170 for Lu Zhaojun, the uh, other member of the Chinese representatives here, but he is the champion. And now 150 for Pang Kum Choi of the People's Republic of Korea who've collected quite a few medals so far at these championships. Well, whether this man can add to the three golds, four silvers and three bronzes that the People's Republic of Korea have got so far, they're currently fourth in the medal table, just behind Turkey, Kazakhstan and China, who are predictably way ahead. And there are a number of lifters who want this 150 opener. And here comes one of the European representatives from Albania, Erkand Krimai. Fourth in Europe this year, seventh in the world last year when he easily surpassed 150. Former junior world silver medalist, but that again was at a lighter weight category. Not quite, and it has to be perfect. Quite a bit of pressure amongst this group because they all know that it's very close. So. Turkey's young man, and he is young, just 21 years of age, weighed in at 76.85, so one of the heavier men in this division. Top 10 in Europe this season, but has to find a reasonable amount of improvement, and that's a good start. This was his strongest suit in the Europeans, the snatch phase. Collected 157 kilos, but only 177 in the jerk. And there he's up against men who will lift 200 and more. So he has to make his mark here, the Turkish representative. And now straight on to Pang Kumchoy of Korea. Only 18. So now needs to make that technical correction. Needs to get that very strong pull. For a moment I thought he was going to lose it behind, but in fact secures the second attempt at 150, puts himself on the board. So they're queuing up at 150, but still three men from the big group ahead, uh, Dudoglu from Moldavia, uh, Ramadan from uh, Egypt and uh, Baulul from Tunisia.
So, Kerimai. Second attempt. That's good. He repairs as well, but he's used two lives to get to 150, and that restricts his options moving forward. So the bar going to 155. So moving towards a more respectable total. 174, the uh, snatch world record. And that uh, snatch world record at 77 kilos, owned by one of tonight's contenders, Lu Zhaozhong, set in Goyang last year. It's the clean and jerk record that stood for a long time, 210 to Oleg Perepechenov, who set that entrenching in the Europeans way back in 2001. So Yehia, good at 150, five kilos up. Again, this is a, a target which he's achieved. Ah! Uh, Egypt building a new generation of lifters. Still uh, Yahia behind his uh, teammate, that's uh, Ibrahim Ramadan who lifted earlier in the B group but lighter body weight, 76.25 to Ramadan and 76.53 to Yahia means that the man in picture is currently in third place behind his teammate but he does have one more attempt to come to get past him. Now Pan Kum Choi for the People's Republic of Korea, his third attempt. Now, at 76 kilos, 78. This is only going to put him up from 6th to 4th place at the moment. But once again, for him, he'll be looking for the highest possible ranking position for himself and his country. So only makes uh, one out of three, leaves him on 150, I'm afraid. It was a long way from being achieved that. So it's Albania to come out now and 155. And again, here's a lifter, Kenimai of Europe, of Albania. 155 for him. And this is a kilo up on what he achieved in Minsk in April. But it's a kilo short of what he achieved last year in the World Championships in Goyang. And again, because of his heavy body weight, 76.84, towards the top of the class, this is only going to put him into fourth place from seventh, where he is now. But it's good. Confident, happy, and 
just keeps him just that little fraction closer to the action. But still a lot of men to start. In fact, uh, at this moment, three waiting in the wings and one of them coming up in a moment. Christoph uh, Schramiak of Poland, this season's European silver medalist, is coming up the stairs as you see Karimai. So here comes the Polish lift. He did pretty well in Europe in Minsky. Total 351. He made five out of six lifts, but on paper at least he's still off the major medals. He's got something like 20 kilos to find this evening if he really wants to be a major player. Perhaps even a bit more than that. But once again, every nation, this is the first of the opportunities to earn qualifying points for the London 2012 Games. Next year's World Championships in Paris provide another opportunity. And then the Continental Championships in 2012 themselves. The Europeans, the Pan Americans, the Asians, the Africans. And that's an encouraging start. Did 160 in Europe. Last year, Shramiak only got two out of six lifts in. And that left him down in 14th place. So he'll be hoping for a, a lot better than that. A lot, of, a lot higher in the ranking this evening. Six kilo increase for Turkey in picture. Semi, Yashi, and this is uh, getting quite testing for him now. It's getting close to his personal best. He's not quite there yet. Well, he certainly looks strong enough, but technically he's got to make the correction and one more attempt to go in this half of the competition. Leads him down in ninth place at the moment. Still, the Tunisian Ramzi Bahlu from Tunisia leading the way. Now, it doesn't look as if anybody else wants this particular weight. So, plenty of time, minute and 40, as you can see there on the clock in the warm up room. But he's not going to need all of that. What he is going to need is a clear mind as to the task ahead. This is something he's done a million times, so to speak, in the warm up room and in the training hall. But this is where it really counts. Started on 150, which was his intended opener. And still waiting to start. Lu Zhaojun on 170, the snatch world record holder. Xu Jiajin, his teammate, planning to come in on 160. And Marty Rossin on 165. So those could be the big players tonight, but we have to wait and see. On paper, that's the way it looks at the moment. 163 also for the army, other Armenian, Georg or George Daftian. So, six important kilos to add here. You never know, might be in the fight for a bronze medal somewhere. Starts the evening as an outsider, but learning his trade. And uh, sadly, that leaves him on 150. Leaves him down in ninth place at the moment. And the leaders are going to go further away. That 150 actually already leaves him 10 kilos off the current leader, Ramzi Balu. Bar going up to 157. And this is for. Tarek Yahia. Well, and 157 will get him above his teammate. It will put him into silver medal 
ahead of Krzysztof Szramiak of Poland. So this is for second place, but it is his third and final effort. But it's for three out of three. And a new competition best in this particular weight category for him. Nicely steadied now. Three white lights. <laughs> and that does indeed take him up to second place. So here is uh, Su Dajin, the first of the two Chinese contenders, 76-86 again, so at the heavy end of the bodyweight weigh-in table, and 160 as a result of his bodyweight would put him up into second, or oh, actually would put him up into second place, ahead of Tarek Yahya of Egypt and Krzysztof Szamy of Poland. Well, a little run of failures at the moment. Sudajin, who collected 165 kilos and 50% of his lifts last year in Goyang, but 12 months ago, the second man in the uh, Chinese ranking and just looking at the 77 kilos uh, Lu Zhaozhong who's yet to start won this with 378 2007 Bulgaria's Ivan Stoitsov was the champion Tanasar won it for Turkey back in 2006 Li Hongli for China in 2005 and it was the Iranian uh, Falati uh, Mohamed Falati who won it in 2003, Georgi Markov of Bulgaria in 2002, Nada Surfan Abbas of Qatar, you may remember when a lot of Bulgarians were transferred for a tidy sum of money to Qatar after the Sydney Olympics and then uh, 1999 Zlatan Vanif and uh, 1998 Nayef Balia Salem again for uh, Qatar. So a mixture of European and Asian success over the years and Sudajin coming in at 160. Probably disappointed that nobody else wanted the 160. So once again, this to put him from nowhere to silver. Much better. Needed a couple of uh, steps forward to control, stabilize, and now perhaps the nerves will recede a little bit. Well, we've probably kicking himself inside that he didn't manage to pull this off in the first lift and still give himself two more lives he's got one more opportunity to go a little bit further though to get past the Tunisian Ramzi Balul who still has the edge by virtue of body weight at 160 but that could all be about to change now as we see Iran's Khanush Rostami just 19 years of age the junior world champion this year won the title in Sofia and lifted up 160 there with 187 in the cleaning jet for a 347 total and he's looking for 365 so it's that sort of improvement he's looking on since uh, early summer to the autumn where we are now 
So this for the outright lead. First attempt. Had a good length strength there. He needs to stand still. <laughs> really looking hard at the central referee, looking for that buzzer to uh, put. <laughs> well, I must say, he gave uh, Vahid uh, Nazarov of Azamayan a really steely look, the central referee. Stabilized in the bottom position then drove up well so new leader and now another man trying to go past that 160 mark Shramiak of Poland who's now slipped down to fifth place but he's got two lives left in this half of the competition and he's also going for 161 he's heavier than Rostami so this would put him from fifth into silver Twenty seconds, enough time. And it's that sort of crucial miss that takes you out of the big money, so to speak. Although the boys wish there was big money, but it's that sort of failure at this sort of stage of the competition. Now that one, 61. He's done it before. He did it in Beijing in uh, 2008, and these are the World Championships, which for which he should be well tuned. Got a 3.52 total in uh, Beijing, and that's his best total in this weight class. But that's a, a setback. How big a setback we're just going to have to wait and see is he going to come out of 161 is he going to buy a bit more time maybe go up a kilo or two he has that option if he wants to or is he just going to stay 361 and try and focus on getting the technique corrected to hold the weight I'm sure he's pretty confident you usually are on the second lift that it's a weight that you can manage pretty straightforwardly More than a minute left, and he can take all of that if he wants to. Just needs to get himself in the right frame of mind when he goes down, locks onto the bar. Just have a look at the facial expression as he makes sure that he's in the zone. Doesn't want to be tight. He wants to be, in a sense, relaxed, flexible, able to explode with this bar to get it above his head in one single movement still half a minute on his side the senior gold medals have eluded him he's been close though with silvers and fourth places well he he knows he desperately needed that and that leaves him on 156 he's five kilos off the lead at the moment and perhaps whatever chance he had to get into the fight for a bronze, which would have been an outside chance, has just evaporated. Momentum of the bar, just taking it behind, and there's no way that you can hold on to that. So arguably the first appearance of one of the big players, the Olympic bronze medalist from Beijing. Gevorg uh, Daptian from uh, Armenia, 27 years of age. 
missed the silver medal if that's the right way to describe it by six kilos so he wasn't really close but he was well ahead of the man who finished in fourth place who had 355 that was Kim of Korea well suggestion is feeling his back as he goes off the stage but One of two Armenians in the competition. Silver medalist in Chiang Mai in the World Championships in 2007. European champion in 2006 and 2007. Well, the suggestion on his face and the body language is that he was definitely feeling that in the lower part of his back. So, this is tricky because he was looking for a 375 total and these are the sort of weights that he's got to try and pick up if he wants to stay in the race. Kanush Rostami of Iran still leads 160 from the man from the B group, Ramzi Balul on 161, sorry, 160, Rostami on 161, Sudajin of China on 160, but there are still two men who haven't even started. Lu Zhajung, the defending champion, Tigran Martirosian. Well, he certainly had a better crack than that, but... Uh, well, Marty Rossian and Lu Zhajung, or at least if they're not watching this, then their coaches will be keeping an eye on this because this was certainly one man who, on paper, looked to be a contender tonight for major honours, but maybe all of those hopes are now evaporating two failures. And he really can't put the bar up. He's got to go for this again. 163. Did 165 in the Olympics. 164 in the World Championships in Chiang Mai. 166. 166, 165. He's in that sort of area. But 163, under normal circumstances, should be very gettable. But now, has that added pressure. The first lift you come out, a lot of lifters are a little nervous. The butterflies are there and one or two of these opening lifts are often quite rough around the edges but then when you get the first one in you're just able to relax and build on the program you've planned for yourself but conversely it's the other way around now you didn't make the first one so the second one became more difficult and now the third one becomes a real pressure lift and the pressure is that if he doesn't, if he doesn't get this, then he doesn't get a total. He can, of course, go for clean and jerk honours, but ranking points, Olympic qualifying points disappear because he won't get a total. So he's got a, he's got a concern here technically. If the back is hurting, he's got to put that out of his mind. He's just got to focus on the technique here. Get that right, and this is possible. Ten seconds. Nine. Looks up at the clock. Five. Four. 
he never got settled and that's what it means that's a, an evening that's disappeared from him but more importantly this is something he's worked for he's trained for not just for weeks but for months and suddenly it's all disappeared in what three or four minutes on the stage Armenia not out of this competition because they still have Marty Rossian but uh, Dabdian can still go for clean and jerk but he's out of the total race so Marty Rossian coming on to the stage this is the younger of the two men Marty Rossian is older brother will be appearing tomorrow night but this is Tigran G G for George or Gibbalk Marty Rossian the European champion of this season and opening up on the weight that he finished on in Minsk in Belarus towards a total of 366 he made four out of six good lifts in Minsk Olympic bronze medalist in Beijing at 69 kilos doesn't have the highest percentage over the years three out of six four out of six that's as good as it gets but that's a great start so 165 and the Armenians sitting right behind us or almost right behind me and Marty Rossian 165 takes a decisive lead in the competition Rostami of Iran who's still got two attempts left down to second place and Ramzi Balul of Tunisia still in the firing line there so to speak he's 160 he's in the bronze medal position ahead of the Chinese lifter Su Dajin who still has one attempt left but this is the world champion from Goyang from Korea last year this is Lu Zhaojun been around the competition stage at senior level for five six years and oh, it's a bit scrappy around the edges but he gets the down buzzer that's the sort of nervous opener but 165 and lighter body weight 76 42 as opposed to 76 72 for Marty Rossian pushes the Armenian down to second and trying to have the edge so Rostami now Hanush Rostami junior world champion now challenging the senior world champion 76 31 he's the lightest of the three leaders at the moment so 165 would take him into gold medal position second attempt and again this is a or would be a new competition achievement if you can do it Fifteen seconds. By just moving behind, and as you've seen on many occasions, once that happens, you can't pull it back, you can't get underneath it. But he does have another go at it. So everybody's uh, started and Sudajin about to come in and try and lift himself up from fifth place where he is at the moment and he weighed in at 76 86 so a 165 would put him into third place into the bronze medal position but Rostami the man who just failed he would have another crack at that to get ahead China first 365 
the total for Su, Su Dajin in Goyang compared to Lu Zhaozhong, his teammate, who was 378. Decisive victory for Lu Zhaozhong. Eight kilos ahead of Marty Rossian, 13 ahead of his teammate. So he stays fifth. So effectively, the medals are in the hands of three men. Lu Zhaozhong, Tigran Marty Rossian. Now both of them have two attempts, but Rostani, Khanush Rostani of Iran has just one effort left. But this effort, because of his lighter body weight, could take him into gold. And he could be pushed down again, but... Now, can he just put this in the right place and hold on to it? There's always a, a worry when you lose it behind that you might compensate the other way and lose it in front and just not get it high enough. That's the common risk. Eight seconds, counting down. And once again, he seemed to be settled and then slightly lost his concentration. The clock ran down and realizing that he had to go for it. And he's left in the bronze medal position. He's four kilos off the pace. And now, Jajun and Martirosian have the stage to themselves. Two attempts. Nine kilos away from the snatch world record owned by Lu Zhaozhun, and it sort of looks that we might not get there tonight. First priority as ever is win the medal, win the category, worry about records later, and the bar's gone to 170 for Marty Rossian, but this is his second attempt. Worth remembering that these men are lifting more than double body weight. 77 kilos the category, 170 on the bar. So fastidious, meticulous from Marty Rossian. toes but he held it together nonetheless and uh, Marty Rossian with 170 goes from silver to gold and more significantly has a five kilo increase over Lu Zhaozhong who's almost ready to rush up the steps well 170 is what he lifted in Goyang now he's done it in Antalya but he may have to go further if he wants to <laughs> defeat Lu Zhaozhong. Lu, who lifted in Goyang the world record at 174. And here he's using his lighter body weight to get the edge. Just doing enough by going after 170 to edge into the lead. And then they'll have one apiece. Well, that's the best we've seen of the evening. And it's great to watch. Really impressive lift from uh, Lu Zhaozhong. And where do we go from here now? It's a question of who puts who in. And this is the cat and mouse, the poker game, the chess game that goes on in the back room between the coaches now. Know your man, but sum up your opposition. 
What does the body language tell you? How much more has Marty Rossian got? How much more has my man got? Absolutely spot on there by Lou. Best snatch of the evening so far, 170 kilos. So 173, now that is a kilo short of the snatch world record. But as I said, first you win the competition and you go after the medals and you worry about the records a lot later. Now 173, they may feel that this is where Marty Rossin can go and where he needs to go to stay close to Lou. And Lou could go for the same weight and still beat Marty Rossian by virtue of his lighter body weight, but Marty Rossian to try and throw the gauntlet down. He has half a minute in which to win it, so to speak. Armenians <laughs> intensively looking. Good group of fans here. Ten seconds. Five. Come on, come on, come on. Come forward. Hold it, hold it together. And should be one, two, three white lights. Look good. <laughs> They're delighted. And Marty Rossin has indeed thrown the gauntlet down with a new snatch personal best of 173 kilos. Wasn't easy, but really determined. Powers it above his head. Precision lifting here from this man. And the 22-year-old, the younger of the two Marty Rossians. 173, and Lou now about to repost with an attempt at a new snatch world record, which would improve his own record by a kilo. But more significantly, it would give him a two kilo edge over Marty Rossian and the advantage of lighter body weight, so almost three kilos the advantage there. And these two men pulling away, Hanush Rostami of Iran in third place, 161 kilos ahead of the Tunisian Ramzi Balou, who lifted earlier in the day on 160, Sudajin of China on 160. So already this competition, in a sense, the fight for gold and silver and the fight for bronze separated by the difference of the front two who are pulling away. They've got... Uh, 9, 10 kilos advantage, and this could be more for the leader. So, world record attempt. 175 kilos on the bar. For the defending world champion. And it goes behind. Well, the Armenians cheer. Because it means that Marty Rossian has won the gold medal. And instead of... Lu Zhaozhun having a two kilo advantage. It's Tigran Martirosian who has a three kilo advantage going into the halfway break with Khanusha Rostami of Iran in the bronze medal position. Just bar takes over and there's nothing that Zhaozhun can do. Certainly strong enough. It's all about the technique of putting it in the right place. It didn't happen for him. He made two out of three. Marty Rossian made three out of three with the new personal best. And Armenia lead into the break. Well, game on here, certainly for the gold medal. And for the bronze medal, an exciting little duel. Or There's actually a trio of lifters who are in with a shout at the moment. Obviously, Rostami, Sujajin of China, and Tarek Yahya of Egypt. You'll see them in the ranking there. Front two away, but then have a look, 161. There's the uh, man in fourth place from Tunisia who lifted earlier in the day. Suja Jin, 160, gives him a chance of maybe a bronze. Tarek Yehia of, of uh, Egypt, 157, not without a 